Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Lewis. We start with some encouraging news from Houston's Health Authority, Dr. David Purs. He says COVID cases have plateaued in the city. The county judge said earlier today the curve has flattened. Let's check the numbers here. Sadly, 158 local people have lost their lives during this pandemic. It includes a new death, a Houston man in his 70s. He is the first person to die in the city with no underlying health conditions. There are more than 8,000 COVID cases in the Houston area, but 2,300 people have recovered. Some discouraging news. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner says the city is dealing with a $170 to $200 million budget shortfall, and that is the worst deficit in the history of Houston. He expects thousands of furloughs of city employees. It will be the worst uh, budget deficit that the city has faced. Now, 2016, I said in 2016, it was the worst, and that's because we were dealing with pensions, the rising cost of pension. And in 2016, that was the worst deficit shortfall the city has ever faced in its history. This one will be uh, worse than 2016. So it will be the worst budget deficit in the city of Houston. When it comes to extending the stay at home order, the mayor says that is up to the governor, but he believes more testing is needed to fully and safely reopen our local economy.